Today, we are delighted to have Canadian children's book author and storyteller, Mr. Scott Reeve, present our two-part program, Ocean Robbins: The Food Revolution for a New World. Mr. Reeve's joyful storybooks introduce children to compassionate living and healthy food choices. With rhyming text and wonderful illustrations, his stories plant seeds of love and understanding within their hearts. They also help parents and teachers introduce a peaceful vegan lifestyle to kids in a fun and creative way. His first book, *The Kind Garden*, tells of a little girl's vegan adventure into a magical land where she learns about rainbow fruits and organic vegetables. His latest book, *The Three Little Pigs Save the Earth*, was selected by Peta Kids to be on their best books for kids list, and has been endorsed by distinguished vegan authors Mimi Kirk and Dr. Will Tuttle. He is currently working on his third book entitled *Vegan for Trees*, which shows young kids how being vegan can save our precious rainforests. Greetings, beautiful viewers. My name is Scott Reeve from the charming city of Chatham, Ontario, in blessed Canada. The friendly Canadian citizens wish you health, happiness, and inner peace. We want to see、uh, everybody. Regardless of their economic background, or their skin color, or their religion, or nationality, having access to healthy food for themselves and their families. On today's program, we will continue learning more about the energetic and lovable Mr. Ocean Robbins, one of the world's leading advocates in world transformation. Even as a teenager, he showed the gift of leadership, having presented at the United Nations. In fact. It was his parents who had planted the seeds of courage, love, and spirituality within him from birth. My mom and dad moved to a little island off the coast of Canada, where they built a one-room log cabin. I was born in that cabin to parents who were living simply, growing most of their own food, practicing yoga and meditation for several hours every day, and naming their kid Ocean. Now a parent himself to two beautiful boys, Ocean is wholeheartedly devoted to the next generation. When I think about the future that my kids are going to grow up into, it it gives me a whole new perspective on life, because now I'm not just thinking about the next few years. I'm thinking about the next generation and the generations to come after that, and it fills me with this deep sense of commitment and passion. Because I want my kids to have a healthy world to live in. I want them to have a stable climate. I want them to have drinking water. I want them to have a healthy planet. And you know what? What we eat doesn't just affect us here and now. It affects the future viability of our species to be able to live on this planet. What we eat affects whether or not we're going to have water. Whether or not we're going to have a climate that's stable. And so I'm so passionate about food because I want my kids and your kids to have a healthy world when they grow up. The Food Revolution Summit, a dynamic and ever-growing annual health event created in 2012 by Ocean and his father. Each year, they arrange a series of interviews with some of the world's top food and health experts, such as Dr. Neil Bernard, founding president of the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, and Dr. Christiane Northrup, women's health expert and named. One of the 100 most trusted people in America by Reader's Digest. Other esteemed speakers include scientists, teachers, farmers, nutritionists, and spiritual authors, providing the public with the most up-to-date health information possible. And what's best about the summit is these powerful online interviews are all offered free of charge. Let's return now. To our discussion from the 2017 San Francisco World Veg Festival, and learn why Ocean feels education, 
and activation are important aspects for change. We all choose what we buy, we choose where we shop, we choose uh, how we prepare our food, and we choose what we eat. And so when we claim that choice, we have the opportunity to make it a conscious one and to make it a healthy one, and in the process, to change our lives and to change our world. So my vision for the food revolution is number one, education, and number two, activation. We want to help everybody to realize that we do not have to be passive victims of the status quo. Just because something is normal doesn't mean it's right. And we think it's normal that uh, over half of our elders, age 85 and above, have Alzheimer's disease. We think it's normal that more and more people are living chronically sick. That in the United States, where I live, we spend 19% of our gross domestic product on disease treatment, or what we call healthcare. We think that's normal, but it doesn't have to be. Cherished viewers, Time now to boost our energy with a tall glass of organic fruit juice. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We'll return after this message. Welcome back to our show and the inspiring words of Mr. Ocean Robbins, a devoted family man and health expert who encourages people to be conscious of their decisions in order to live their best life. If I could say one thing uh, to you right now, I would say you matter and your food matters. It matters how you eat, it matters what you eat, it matters where you shop. And when you choose to make your food choices into something that is in integrity with what you value, with what you want for your health and what, with what you want for your world, everything changes. Your life has a potency and a vibrancy and a dynamism and an aliveness because you are in sync with what you actually want. So I say when you choose to eat more whole foods, more real foods and less processed junk, when you choose to eat more food that comes from plants instead of food that was made in factories, uh, you are standing for a life that is free from disease. You are standing for a healthy weight. You are standing also for a healthier planet where there are less people that are being poisoned, where there are less animals being tortured, and where our climate is more stable. And that is a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. So I say seize the day. Use the moment and let your food choices be an expression of what you value. In a 2009 video conference entitled Global Unity Together in Saving Lives, Supreme Master Ching Hai echoed Mr. Robin's sentiments as to the harsh realities of the animal industry and equally proposes the plant-based organic lifestyle as a viable solution. For the majority of the workers in the meat business, it's not a safe working place either. It's one of the most dangerous jobs with some of the highest rates of injury and exposure to chemicals and diseases like influenza, swine flu, bird flu, etc., etc., and mad cow disease, which is always fatal, always deadly. Mad cow disease, up to now, we can't even cure it. Anybody contract mad cow disease, their life is terminated. Now we have to ask ourselves, is it all worth it? This is not to talk about the effect on the meat consumers in terms of all the sickness, cancers, diabetes, and health problems, heart diseases, almost all diseases that you can name come from meat diet or related. So given a better choice for livelihood, wouldn't we uh, choose the one that helps ourselves and others stay healthy over a profession that made people and ourselves sick and die young? Would you say yes or no? Yes. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I have suggested before that we should talk to the farmers, write to them, even go into them one by one if you can afford it, to try to show them that there are better alternatives, such as growing organic vegetables, 
Nowadays, organic food is very in demand, very in. Many people turn into vegetarian or vegan now, and everybody knows organic vegetables are very healthy. You see, if you eat organic vegetable, you will hardly uh, have to go to the hospital, and all the money we can save to better education for the children, better care for the elderly, and building more a uh, beautiful road, and more equipment, uh, invention and uh, use it more for sustainable energies, for free, for everybody. We want to express our deepest gratitude to Mr. Ocean Robbins, for devoting his life to public health, the welfare of animals, and the sustainability of our precious planet. He's doing a phenomenal job and is contributing greatly to a much brighter future for all of us. I'm Ocean Robbins. Be vegan, make peace, and save the planet. For more information on Mr. Ocean Robbins, please visit www.oceanrobbins.com. Radiant viewers, thank you for joining us today. Coming up next is Save Our Planet from the Karma of Killing, excerpts from Supreme Master Ching Hai's Lectures and Discussions, Part 2 of 3, on Between Master and Disciples. May you and your family live an abundant life with love, laughter, and prosperity. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash VE.